Now this is at the very beginning of The Woman Warrior, setting out questions that I don't know the answers to, and I want to find the answers. Chinese Americans, when you try to understand what things in you are Chinese, how do you separate what is peculiar to childhood, to poverty, insanities, one family, your mother who marked your growing with stories from what is Chinese? What is Chinese tradition and what is the movies? You can take those sentences and substitute your own noun for Chinese or Chinese Americans, you will find uh, your place in the world, who you are, and uh, what is this world all about. When you were writing the book, you know, years ago, had you ever imagined that this 2014 high school class in Buenos Aires <laughs> would ever be able to make so many connections to your story? These uh, Chinese and Chinese American people, they're they're heavily decorated, you know, with their, uh, with their specific clothes and language and uh, customs. Um, but you get through all that, the decorations, then you see uh, the, 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 the universal human uh, plights and stories. And, and it, you, you manage to do that. It's good. The novel made me think that we as people, both adults and children, often apply stereotypes based on race, class, and gender to other people. And my question is, what is one way you believe that we as people can stop stereotyping and end prejudice against others? If we are stereotyping, we cannot see the beauty and the variety and the specific of whatever is out there. As writers and as artists, uh, we have special tools because um, you know, when you are making a, a work of art, you're making something beautiful and it's specifically beautiful. You choose the colors, you choose the shapes, you find the right words. And when you do that, um, that just breaks through any stereotyping. <laughs>